When it comes to portable PA systems, current offerings can be divided into two types, traditional point source speakers and compact or portable line array systems. Now you might be wondering what are the differences and benefits of each of these designs and in this video hopefully we can shed a little light on that for you. Point source speakers have been around forever and they come in both active and passive configurations. Passive simply means that they require an external amplifier to produce sound while active means that they have that amplifier built in. Now most of the time point source speakers are of a two-way design which means that they have a single larger speaker that handles the low frequency and mid-range content and then they have a compression driver that's attached to a horn for the high frequency content. Some current examples of point source active speakers are the QSC K.2 line, the JBL Eon range and the EV ZLX lineup. This two-way arrangement is capable of filling a large room and they do a pretty good job in outdoor spaces. They can throw high frequency content quite far and you can still get a pretty good bass response even without a subwoofer, especially if your box is equipped with either a 12 inch or a 15 inch driver. Point source systems can be expanded to a three-way system with the addition of a subwoofer to reinforce the low end and the low frequency content. But there are some considerations to be aware of the mid-range can suffer, especially without a subwoofer involved in the system, just simply because that one speaker in the two-way box is working so hard to reproduce frequency content across such a wide spectrum. Also, point source speakers, as their name implies, are directional. They may not have a wide dispersion, and even if they do have a, a wider range of dispersion, that dispersion may not be even across the frequency spectrum. Portable line array systems get their DNA from more contemporary sound reinforcement technology that's become very popular in Turing scenarios. Now, obviously these systems are a lot smaller than their Turing counterparts, but they share a lot of the same qualities. From a design standpoint, they're equipped with several drivers in an array. In the case of the Bose L1 Pro systems, these drivers are oriented slightly in opposite directions, which results in a really wide horizontal coverage. Typically, these compact arrays are mounted above a powered subwoofer, often using proprietary mounts and spacers that take care of connections so no cables are necessary. And all of this adds up to a really efficient system. Because the array drivers are smaller than typical point source drivers, they can respond quickly and reproduce mid-range and high frequency content smoothly, while the subwoofer is dedicated to the low end. All of this results in a very even sound across the frequency spectrum with a wide dispersion. However, while they will sound even and detailed, they may not fill a large room or an outdoor space as well as a point source system. In terms of setup and portability, it's hard to beat a portable line array system. Point source systems offer more modular potential, but their components are often heavier and bulkier. There's also more cabling involved, as well as other considerations like speaker stands. On the other hand, portable line array systems are designed to be an all-in-one solution and they often have some useful features built in. So if you're looking for sheer power and the ability to fill a large venue, a point source system is definitely the way to go. But if you're looking for portability, ease of use, and an even sound reproduction for small to medium sized rooms, definitely look into a portable line array system. For more information on PA systems of all types from leading brands such as QSC, JBL, Electro Voice and Bose, please visit AmericanMusical.com.